again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. And I have shovels. I probably have some scoops and some other tools around here too, but I have a reservoir to put some Anita's white metallic in to make the base that I'm going to scoop my shovels out of. I use the Anita's for several reasons. One is because it's really inexpensive, and the other is that I like the metallic and it doesn't affect the rest of my colors by turning them pastel. So I am going to float colors that I love and try and make them in the most odd random shapes I can. That is a Venetian blue from Modern Masters. Mas yeah, Modern Masters. This is, that is the lighter version of it. It just has Anita's white metallic in it. This is some green gold from Folk Art. It's color shifting. I'm going to try and hold myself back a little bit so I can add more colors as I need them. I have a dish of paints from yesterday. I'm not sure that I should use them, but they are very metallic and they're not bad looking. And they will add to the general overall bulk of what I'm mixing up, which like I said is going on an 18 by 24 inch canvas, so it's not insignificant. And that way I can put this in the bucket. And I think that spatula needs to go in there too. Now the first time I did, the last time I did an 18 by 24 with a shovel pour that I really fell in love with, I didn't have a bunch of these same colors. I didn't have the fluorescent pink from Folk Art, that's matte, or the Prism Pour Hot Orchid, which is what I'm using right now. This is, this was an, a yellow from Hobby Lobby that I just kept adding orange to, to until I got the color that I liked. I'm not actually overlapping my colors because I want to scoop them out. And I don't need them mixing particularly. They will anyway. And if this works out and I have too much paint, I have another painting after this that I would like to do some stuff to. Starting with a ribbon pour. This is my Decor de Americana 24 karat gold that has a little bit of orange mixed into it. This is a folk art color shifting red that I just started to use after years of having it. And it didn't look attractive to me in the bottle, so I didn't do much of anything with it. I have my favorite color, which is usually Folk Art Purple Flash, and it is color shifting. Now I'm going to start putting deeper puddles into this paint, and I'm going to, then I'm going to look and see what I've accumulated. This is uh, called a Cobalt Blue from Artist Loft, and it is very turquoise and very metallic. I will put a little bit of black on top of this. I might also put a little bit of white. A little bit more white, I should say. I do have some orange, and I wanted some straight up orange, something between the, the orangey yellow. I'm going to have to be a little careful. Some of these colors that are next to each other are a little dangerous. This is, I believe, I want to call it a tropical blue. It used to be Bahama blue from Anita's, and now it's something different. Island blue, that's what it's called. And I have some pink that's just Anita's white metallic. And a little doll, a little tiny amount of the hot pink. What else? Black. A little bit of black. This is my Meaden Black, which is extremely black. I might put some of my Golden Hour from Arteza in there too. I'm not sure I have enough blue, but I can add more don't have much gold, I just have that gold that has the orange in it. Oh, that's not open. This must be one of the 25 bottles that I just went through that isn't open. 
and it's got threads. Just one moment and we'll be ready to go. Yeah, I think a little more white. Some of that yellow right in that gold or orange gold, whatever you want to call it. Let me take one last look. Where's my white? There we go. And I have pre-painted my canvas black. I have other tools handy. If I need to swipe or something, I will. I have never used these shovels. I might try that. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to use that shovel. For sure, for sure. So this is a twice primed 18 by 24 inch canvas. And I am going to keep my yellow right over here. I'm going to scrape off the bottom of my shovel. And my torch is in the way. Now if I just let the shovel relax, it will often deposit more of the wonderful colors that I want out of it. I'm going to do something with that torch so it's not in my way. And my bottles might be also in the way. So I want some of that hot orchid now. And I didn't actually leave any next to the edge. It's good to put your colors right next to the edge. And I'm going to put a little hot orchid right in there and in here. Because I'm thinking I might want it. Oops, I dribbled. It's okay, I kind of need to dribble at some point in time anyway. often done garden themes. I'm going to grab what I consider to be a fairly copious amount of paint. shovel relax some of the colors that are in there right down over that edge. It's been a little while. It's been a minute since I've done this. I'm hoping you can see that. But you might not be able to. In which case, I just need to come back over here. definitely like to take a shovel full of paint and then dribble it. I'm about to do that, I think. Right after I let some of what I've got free from my shovel. I'd like to teach myself how to layer colors over colors when I'm doing these. Thank you. 
So far so good. I'm not unhappy with that. It's a very interesting... I'm not sure about the direction it's going. I'm really interested in doing some weird stuff. With the heavy paint. That's cool. I'm good with that. Sorry, I'm over here at the edge of the canvas, letting some paint fall down over. And drip down. I need a much smaller tool and I think it's gonna be my spatula, my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula to be completely Just dipping it right in the pan of colors. Especially where I like the color I see. And then bringing it back. I might put some dots in this. I'm very inclined to put dots in things. I put my, I put my mark up beyond where I want it, and then I bring it back down so there isn't a puddle. I think this thing that looks like a flower is a prime candidate for getting some dots. But I have to pick them up first. Another, whoop. That's my new zone. <laughs> That's where I'm going. Might as well steal some of that. I can actually wipe that off right now since my canvas is dry. It's a little on the fresh side. I'm just going to keep. Keep adding to what I have because I have a shadow there, a ghost of where I was dragging it out. I don't really want that. I want a couple more of these though. Before I put some dots in there. They remind me of little birds of paradise thingies. Yeah, there's today's articulate moment. <laughs> what about that thingy? So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how much further I should go. If I left it right like it was, it might be okay. I can continue to play with spatula pretty happily. And teach myself, like I said, to overlap things, which is what I really want to do a lot more of. It seems like when I add this texture in, the, the lines really enhance the design a lot. usually makes me happy. I might want to torch that really quick right now before I decide. That I need a paper towel. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. I can see a bunch of bubbles right there. Some of this I thought I might want to um, tip, but I really don't. 
But that area over there is making me think I might want to do some more. And I definitely want to connect this right here to something. Because it's floating, which might be okay too, but... Yep, I'm still having fun going in all kinds of directions. <laughs> Trying to be fairly conscious of what I'm doing. Except for those times I dribble. Gonna make that a little plant, a little stem down below. So far so good. I had to just call it good. I've got um, two minutes to tell you guys. Thank you for all the wonderful compliments that you give me all the time to keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. I think that this could be easily done to tell you the truth. I'm not sure what I'll do about that. I could change my mind, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm give myself One more little shoot over there. And one here too, because I had a mark there anyway. I love the I love the lines. I just really, really, really love them. So thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. And if you're interested in helping the studio produce more videos, then look on the end screen video on the last 20 seconds of every video for the exhibition video that month and it will share with you what that month's prizes are for the drawing winner at the beginning of the next month who makes a contribution through PayPal or Patreon. You can find those icons also on my YouTube channel banner. I'm careful. On the bottom right hand corner. Sorry, I got distracted. If you are looking for uh, links, they might all be on the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link underneath the video. And it has, the top link is Le Gallerist, which is my new clothing line from Montreal. Beautiful dresses and kimono tops and other things that have all over prints on them. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm still just having way too much fun while I'm talking to you. And that leaves me one minute to actually see what I've forgotten, and that is my email address is below the link tree. And my paint pouring recipe is under show more with my email address. You have to read about halfway down. Please give me a thumbs up. When you share my videos, you help me out. When you watch longer, you help me out. If you shop my Amazon link, it's on the link tree. My two books are there because I can in unlimited possibilities and a whole lot of great art supplies. And if you buy some, you do help me out at no added cost to you. Thank you guys for all the donations that help keep me painting again. And thank you for the compliments and comments. If you look for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, you'll find them all on the link tree along with my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, for looking at the YouTube <laughs> the, the albums yes I'm gonna make sure that this is in I know I kind of want to put something over there but I 
think it's good like it is, so I'm going to stop and just do another, and I'll have to cover that little spot up. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Cell. Telling you, you, 